So you can really feel those lockers engaging right now while yep. I'm trying to make my turn. Because of the hard, dry to... grass. Yep. Well, everything's trying to turn the same rotation, too. So, yeah, it's... So we're just, again, I let off the gas on this. My feet are off the pedals. And I'm just letting this vehicle right now work at its own thing here. Now I've got my steering wheel zero degrees. Nice 13 degree deep approach coming into a ditch. We're going to swoop right out. So it's going to go straight up and right back into it. So right here doesn't feel too bad once we start to climb. So going backwards where I actually have a camera so I can actually see what's going on out in front of me is pretty crucial. Now, if I had the forward facing camera, that's where the big benefit it is. So if we were coming up to, to Cressa Hill like we were, I would be able to see what's coming up, which is pretty neat. So we're gonna stop it right about there. So we're at 30 degrees here. So one of the cool things, since you're making a video here, if I lay my seat straight back, I'm basically standing up at this point. Yeah, which is pretty neat. So, turn the pedal back on here, set our speed. All right, you ready to go down? So we got our trail control pedal back on. We're gonna just go ahead and release here. Go into drive, let her off. And you can feel everything start grabbing real tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice and smooth, no, no chatter, no hesitation at all. Nothing. And again, when you fear the little bumps where it kind of slows down, what it's doing again is it's recalibrating itself, checking, make sure it's got forward wheels touching the ground still. It wasn't like we hit a little hole where we lost a wheel coming down. Uh, very smooth operation all the way across the board on this.